people. Let's see what's going on. Hold. Give me a second. Navigate this scope set up right sometimes. You know. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Who's in the house with me today? Can't see who's that out there with me in the house today. Yes, Henry, it's the mayor. Who else is out there with me? I can't see. It's not coming up. Yes, sir. What's happening? It's the mayor. How was your day? Just knocking over from the Queen service myself. Beautiful, excellent, excellent. Just knocked off from the Queen service, heading home after a long day of work. And I just felt compelled to get on scoop and share, share my thoughts today around love. I tell you, boy, anytime. I am ever convinced of this. Anytime you're in love, everything seems better. Like everything just seems better. Don't care what you're going through. Don't care what your day is like. Don't care what the weather's like. When you're in love, everything seems better. And I am I am happy to to finally be at that place in my life where I think that I found the right partner for me. But it's a work in progress. But I'm in that tingly stage where you know you just you just in love. You just you like the person. Also, eternally in love. Who are you eternally in love with? Do share. Bobby Sally, yes. Welcome. We're talking about being in love today. I'm excited about it. So Fred was just telling us Yes. Ha ha. <laughs> now what's funny about being in love? Mm -hmm. Brief visit. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came by. Secret love. Bobby's got a secret love. Love is crazy. Fred's in love with his beautiful wife. How long have you been married, Fred? Yeah, love is, listen, love is one of those emotions, no matter how we try to figure it out, we just can't get it right. We just can't get it right, man. Because I'm a little married, not sure what to do. A little married? How can you get, hey, come on now. That's like being a little pregnant. How does one be, how is one a little married? Okay, but how are you a little married? What haven't acted yet? What? Wait until this side. No, 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 my brother, don't wait to decide. Don't wait to decide. If you love somebody, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you love somebody, here's one of the biggest mistakes that I, I, I made. Is that when you know, and you know it. getting complicated by the minute help me out here Fred Fred knows about eternal love Ooh. mercy 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 complicated indeed so yeah just share well I appreciate the share and I appreciate the honesty and the frankness, Bobby. I appreciate that because I think we, as an, as adults, you know. Uh, thank you for the kisses. It's too bad you're leaving me for this quick share, but I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you dropping in, dude, though, but you, like, dropped in with a bombshell and just left us. <laughs> I said, I appreciate you dropping in, but, you you know, you just, just, like, came in and just, like, boom. And now you're like, peace out, deal with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 man, that's, that's that's cool, man. That's cool. Oh, man. <laughs> so, there you go. Well, hey, I don't care if you never shared before. I appreciate you sharing now. Whatever it looks like. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you finally coming on while I'm live. I, I really do. And, and we're going to talk about that situation even without you. Even without you, we're going to talk about it. Because it does speak to the complications of love. Most definitely. So I appreciate, yeah. <laughs> now I see why you would say, ha ha. <laughs> um, so, I'll try to talk. A little slower, uh, Fred, but I talk as slow as I possibly can. Yes, definitely keep me updated on that progress. Mashron, peace, dude. Yes, don't, don't get in trouble at work. So, Fred, I hope you're still there. That's complicated. And I mean, I, I'm really torn, like, because I believe in people if they're committed and both parties agree that there is a commitment, then certainly you should stay and try to work it out. But the heart, man, the heart is difficult. The heart is difficult. When you get that connection with somebody, it's hard. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going that fast. Come on now. I'm not going that fast. Maybe it's just the angle of the camera. But, no, I'm not a pilot. I work for the Bermuda Police Service. So. But I, I believe in honesty. And even though it's going to be hard and somebody's going to end up getting hurt, I believe in honesty. And you must be honest up front because at the end of the day, somebody is going to end up getting hurt anyway. If, if your spouse finds out, then she 
she's going to be hurt that you kept it from her and how long has everything been going on. I know that for myself, I was in a relationship and when I found out that the person that I was with was cheating on me, then it became obsessing about well, how long had it been going on and then what was actually real and honest in my in my relationship anymore like it just tainted everything because even the good times became questionable because I don't know if you were really there was your head space there and or were you you know racing along because you wanted to get over there so it changed everything and you're just not able to recover like it takes a lot of love and repair to recover from that and as much as I try as much as I try to it was was never able to get back to that place where you have that trust and so for me I've always I've always relished and appreciated and held very sacred the trust that my partners have had in me. I really value that because once trust is gone, once trust is gone, it is difficult to get it back. I mean, it is, it, it's hard. I don't I don't see how you get it back. And as a partner as a as a a person who's been in a relationship where um cheating was involved, it's 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 hard to it's hard to break that that bond and expect it to ever ever work properly again and so I think that it's important that we be true to whatever our truth is I think that's that's very important you know but it's it's hard when you're in the as I say you're in the mix of love and affection it's very it's it's hard it's hard i can i can I can imagine what you boys going do, but at the end of the day, truth has to prevail because I believe in karma man and that that stuff come back bite you in the ass. That stuff can come back and bite you in the ass. So, yeah. All right. Well, I got to get out of here. I just want to have a quick scoop and share with you my heart condition. And wish you uh, a beautiful day, an amazing day. Right now in Bermuda. Let me just step outside the car. It has turned out to be a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So I'll give you a little side treat and, and show you just how beautiful it is out here today. Hold on. Let's drop it down. It is, the sun is just so gorgeous in the sky. The sky the clouds are making all sorts of designs. The birds are chirping. It's just such a beautiful day, man. Ah, oh, God, I love this country. I do, I really do. The clouds are moving slowly. It's just a beautiful day. One day I'll explain to you why I have a headless owl on, owl on top of my, my roof. It's a, quite a funny joke, but... That's what it looks like in Bermuda today. So, all right. Fred, my friend, I will chat with you later on. Have an amazing day. And hug that eternal love of yours for me. And give her greetings from Bermuda. And I will 
chat with you later. Peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friend. Peace out.